asked, when was the last time I was forced to utter such words? They hang heavy around my neck. Then you admit it? You're the killer? <laughs> Listen to you, trying to take charge, as if you're my private instructor. I, Celestia Ludenberg. Actually, no, Taiko Yasuhiro is fine. Taiko? So, you finally accepted it. I'm the kind of person, once I've lost, I don't like things to drag on. Interesting. Even the accent was fake. B! Wow! You did above average. Indeed. Okay, Monica. I'm really surprised you didn't get I'm lower. ready to begin. <laughs> or, no. I suppose this is the end, isn't it? It is indeed the moment we've all been waiting for. Time to vote, okay? Okay. If you would, please locate your lever and cast your vote. And when the votes are tallied, who will become the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Oh no! F's in the chat, boys. Indeed. Press F to pay respect. Indeed. It's basically a formality at this point, but once again, you're totally correct. That black in this time, the true killer who devised the whole stinking scheme was... Celestia Ludenberg, or mo more precisely, Taika Yasuhiro. Honestly. I lost me light sucks. I guess trying to, get, trying to work with someone else was a mistake after all. Hifumi's ineptitude was beyond all my calculations. I knew it. So you really did approach me? But how did you get to me? I can't imagine you would happily agree to commit murder. Hm. I'm sure she relied on her speciality, lying. <laughs> my speciality? Don't make me laugh. I didn't have to lie to get you to agree. So then, then do you... You know. <laughs> <laughs> My feminine wiles. Yes. I knew you'd figure it out, Kyoko. You're absolutely right. To get to see me to act as my accomplice, mm -hmm. I used her. For everyone who's still left, I'll avoid mentioning it by name, but... It was the one thing Hifumi and Taka were both super into. Did she mean? Is she talking about Say what? What? What, 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 what? <laughs> what are you talking about? Just a second. Don't interrupt. We're in the middle of a very conversation here. I'm totally out of the loop, as usual. How sad. In other words, then you were like that split? Indeed. Well, it's right. I see. She used it to drag Umi. <laughs> Great again. Last night, after we had a meeting about how it had disappeared, I paid Hifumi a little visit. Um, oh, um, what are you doing here? Actually, I was hoping I could talk to you alone. Huggers. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, not Hornydale again. <laughs> it is about. What was stolen? I know who did it. What? What? It was Taka. He stole it. Okay. <laughs> so then. And I have proof. Would you like to see it? As it turned out, I'd found a use for the digital camera. 
I'd taken you know what to Taco's room earlier and took pictures of it there. I deleted the picture as soon as I'd shown it to Fumi, of course. Damnation! Germ, so it was him. But how did he do it? She was supposed to yell if either of us got close to her. You are correct, which is why Taco forced me to steal it. Say what? what? As for me, please forgive me. He, he threatened me. Oh, oh. he did. As for he me, he came to my room last night and announced, and then it's hard for me to even say he abused me. What? what? And he, he took pictures. He said if I did not do as he asked, he would show them to everyone. So I... I had no choice. Damnation! Well, that's a crime. An absolute crime. Okay, I mean, I knew he'd gone a little crazy, but... I never imagined he would... would go that far. <laughs> it was amazing how completely he built it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can't express how enjoyable that was. I'm about to say something I've never said before in my life. I'm gonna say the N word. <laughs> you can't say that, it's racist. <laughs> I'm going to kill him. Nayagi. I'm going to f f f fucking kill him. Most unfortunate. Not even Batman would say the F word. Indeed. Oh, wait. Batman said the fuck word. <laughs> Wait, please. If you go now, you will be playing right into his hands. Hmm? Huh? Actually, Taka is planning to use her to escape. And he has made you his target. What? Escape? You don't mean... <sighs> Taka is going to try to kill you. What? <laughs> <laughs> and also, he can keep her to himself. <laughs> that bastard. Bastard, 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 bastard! <laughs> can we allow him to continue with these barbaric acts? Absolutely not. How could I? She... she... I, I, I have save to save her! Then... Would you like to join me? <laughs> I'm trying to get him to show up by spinning forward. <laughs> it just so happens I've come up with a plan. <laughs> Fumi just ran out of batteries. <laughs> <laughs> I have devised a way to reclaim what he has stolen and escape this dreadful school. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, it is complete. Hmm? Um, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, nothing. <laughs> Ifumi agreed without a second thought. Hmm. <laughs> the effect that item had on him was remarkable. The power of love, even a love as twisted as that, can still drive people mad. It would seem. Uh, um. He has cost me. <laughs> I see. What a burn from Hero. I have another question for you. Was that strange costume of Fumi's creation? Indeed. Yeah, it was a real pain in the butt, too. All I asked him to do was make something to hide the face in general body size. I had no idea he'd make something like that, but it's my fault for picking him in the first place. But... So why'd you decide to make me the suspect? <sighs> because you're stupid. <laughs> That's it? And in that regard, I made the right choice. I'm so glad your stupidity surpassed my every expectation. <laughs> Life must have been tough on your parents, though. <laughs> uh, I feel like I could cry. <laughs> well. But when you were explaining your plan to Hifumi, how did you explain the part about him playing dead? What she's asking is, what was Hifumi supposed to do after that, assuming you had acted, actually let him live? Are you okay Lay it with simple. 
after he did his part and pretended to be dead, once someone showed up. I told him to say he'd been seriously wounded. He was on the verge of death, but he had just barely held on. Hmm. Can you really believe that? <laughs> well, of course. That wasn't all there was to it. As I explained to Hifumi, the plan was... While you were all questioning him about what had happened to him, I was going to murder someone else. At that point, Hifumi would have been an alibi, so nobody could doubt him. I told him that, and he believed it. It all seems very straightforward, stereotypical. I just matched the lie to the level of the opponent. In fact, Hasumi ate it up. He believed the lie wholeheartedly, right up until the moment of his death. So in the end... So you had planned to kill him all along. <laughs> but of course. There have been, but... There would have been no point to my plan if the one who pretended to be dead did not end up dead himself. What the heck? How can human life be mean so little to you? <laughs> well, well, that's a non-issue. I simply did everything in my power to win. Don't be mean! I sound like the Akia. I wonder No, about that. he derives his pleasures from the sphere of the hunt. In that aspect, we are nothing alike. Why? Then what made you take what the heck? Was it really just for money? Mm -hmm. Narrow? <laughs> Are you talking about the 10 million dollars been accumulated for this? That is a lot of money, it's true. <sighs> but that's not all there is to it. From the moment our new life here began, my only thought was to escape. But... But... How long you been saying we have to accept living here? Obviously, that was a lie. Yeah. I couldn't take it. I hated it from day one. More than anyone, anyone, anyone else in here. I wanted to get out. Every day was fresh torture. And do you want to know why, huh? Because I had a dream. And accepting a life here would have meant nothing less than giving up on my dream forever. And there was no way that they could ever do that. In the underground world of gambling, I risked my life to make a metaphorical killing. As for me, and it was all for that dream. Before we proceed, what do you think the dream is? <laughs> yes. Do tell. Jeez, okay. I have no idea. So, she had a dream and she risked... What did she say? She like... She risked her life. For a metaphorical killing yes. and gambling underground. Mm -hmm. Why? So money doesn't seem to matter to her because she's not even like saying that that had. So it really seems like the freedom and the getting out was really what was important. I mean, I would expect them to stay in her character and say that she just wants to be the best gambler in the world. But she kind of already is. So... I wonder if her dream is like, I don't know, just she has, I'm imagining like she always wanted to try something different than gambling, kind of like Leon with him wanting to be a rock star instead of a baseball player. Like I feel like it's something very opposite, but I have no idea what's opposite to poker. So... Stock Let's continue. Broker? I don't know. Like, <laughs> she wanted to raise GME game? all the way. Isn't it wonderful? To live what? in a European case. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> a castle? <laughs> and to gather handsome men from all over the world to serve as my butler slash booty guards. <laughs> I was going to make them dress up like vampires oh, and satisfy my every need. <laughs> Celeste is boob lady. No. Not quite. She seems pretty flat. In yeah. Fact. Once I obtained that, I would have created a perfectly aesthetic world of decadence. This is fine. Living the rest of my life there was my only dream, my only goal. That's what life is all about. Combined with my own winnings, Monokuma's $10 million would have made that dream a reality. 
I got right to the edge, but... Unfortunately, my dream has been scattered to the wind. Still, I don't have any regrets. I pursued my dream to the very end, so why would I? Just the worst. You sound so passionate, but you were really able to kill your own friends for it? Oh. Are you asking me to feel guilty? That's a pointless endeavor. I think nothing of sacrificing others for my own ends. I feel nothing. Do you understand? That's all there is to me. That's what makes me complete. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> isn't it terrifying how different our values are? There's simply no room for understanding. What is this? That's what we should be saying in plus. <laughs> how can you be so calm? Oh really, Fina? How did you do this? <laughs> no. <laughs> <coughs> Didn't you realize you're about to die? Why aren't you scared? Hmph. <laughs> my ability to lie is unrivaled, and I take pride in that. It. It's not just other people, I can even fool my own emotions. The conscious deceives the unconscious. That's why you're not scared? Yes. That's right, I didn't fear death. Kill me however you like. But you know, if I could be reincarnated. If I had a choice, then I think I would like to come back as Marie Antoinette. <laughs> you just get executed again, bro. <laughs> 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 well, smiled then. It, it looked to me like a poor effort to force it. She claimed she could get the statement itself that we fake smile. Girls, you all done? Girls. Okay, let's get rolling. The blackened disturbed the peace and must pay the price. Now then, I prepared a very special punishment. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time. No. I'll let Kyoko hold on to this. What? This is. Will it really give you the hope you're looking for? I can't say I ever saw it that way. Which is why. Actually, it's not important. Well then, take care, everyone. Perhaps we'll meet again in another life. No, Celeste. I love Celeste. Very sad. Rio Pepperinos. What's her punishment gonna be? Huh? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna Is be? It weird that when you that I knew positively it was Celeste and tried really hard to convince myself it was Celeste. I did the same thing. I realized it was her pretty early on, but I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I'm not the only one. <laughs> I was just blatantly ignoring, especially as the trial progressed. Trial progressed. I'm like, I mean, maybe Afumi killed Taka and then himself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> With a blow to the head, no less. <laughs> yeah, I didn't care. I knew it was her. Yeah. I mean, she did kill. We do. She did kill Taka, which sucks. So there is that, that to hold that? against her. I like Taka too. Taka was, was epic. He was funny. <laughs> well, that's just clearly uh, a liberal bias on your part. Okay. Is she gonna get saved? Yeah! Ruh -ruh. No. <laughs> nice job, Monokuma. Cause he's doing such a good job, look at him! Oh. Isn't it just awful? 
someone couldn't cut free of their regrets from the outside world, and so more people had to die. Extreme! You guys are still young. You need to place more value on your lives. What are you gonna do? Jeez, and here I thought you guys were gonna pass the torch of hope to the next generation. What do I care about hope? I'll throw it in the trash if you let me out of here. <laughs> You're all the embodiment of hope, whether you like it or not. And it's my destiny to knock you down one by one. It's sad, yes it is, but that reality just can't be avoided. You don't talk like you're not responsible. How long are you going to make us keep going through this? What do you want from us? God, I'm so sick of people asking me that. Get a rest already! So, anyway, Yoko, did I see you get some kind of key-type object from Celeste? Hey! Hey! So, uh, what's the deal with that? You gonna share what? with the class? <laughs> oh, what's the matter? So then, I'll answer your question, if you answer You. What did you do? What did you do to me? Ooh! <laughs> Uh, hey, answer me. What did you do to my body? Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ah. so oh man, oh jeez, oh man, oh jeez. <laughs> what do you mean, what did I do? Well, <laughs> I have no idea. Huh? I don't know anything about it. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. What was that just now? Oh, That's when I did something to do with my body? What does that mean? Hello. Okay, things are getting kind of awkward. I think it's about time I got out of here. Well? Meanwhile, you guys can go on enjoying your school life. If you get lonely, give me a shout. Not that I'll do anything about it, of course. See ya later. <laughs> See ya. On Kuma disappeared, the room was depressed. There. Though it wasn't all despair. There was... <laughs> One small thing. Hey, Kyoko, Monokuma already mentioned it, but what's that key that's left? So... Most likely, the key to one of the dressing room lockers. Huh? What? Then that means... Hmm. Celeste probably hid it in there. Hey! I suppose sometimes it's easiest to miss what's right beneath your nose. Well then, we'd better go check. Indeed. Good idea. Rush to the dream. As we approach the dream, Kyoko looked back at us. Hey, I'm going to go on alone. Everyone else, screw it to the dining room. I'll check in later. What? Why exactly are you going alone? So, do you even? As she spoke, he glanced at the table. Come on. That's not what I meant. I mean, why you? There's still the risk of a spy, you know. Then I'll go too. What? You? <laughs> Please, let me go. Standing here arguing is just going to draw more attention to us. Goodbye. You do whatever you want. Thank you, Byakuya. Well, then. Then it's up to you. Yo! Oh, I'm gonna go to the dining hall, okay? Huh? Huh? Oh, Makoto and Kyoko are going to go together, huh? Oh, hi, hi, hi. Ah, does that mean what I think it means? Good luck, Makoto. Girls like her are total pushovers when you show them the backbone, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Try to forget what Hina said. <laughs> Everyone headed to the dining hall, leaving me and Kyoko there alone. Shall we go? Well, shall we? Hina's such a bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> we need to get into that locker. Kyoko took the key so as to give it As lockers were closed, she saw it. You're really cold! Mm, good morning! <laughs> A while it has been, has it not? <laughs> Say, thank you. Never heard Kyoko sound so cute. It was like she was speaking from the bottom of her heart. <laughs> hmm. Did what Celeste asked I did. Say a word I did not. Stayed quiet the entire time I did. No. Ruined. Hmm. Open the last set of files I think I might be able to. Maybe as early as tomorrow. 
my best I am doing. Please wait, you must. <laughs> so, now we can officially say case is closed. As far as it's can we take the fact that we have this opportunity? I want you to be honest with me. Oh, please, tell me, what are you trying to do all on your own here at the school? You. That way to come here? However, regardless, that's not no. I don't to know. That just makes me even what? more worried. Worried? Like what happened during the investigation this time. You disappeared and we didn't see you again. Without warning, without explanation. When you do that, Indeed. it's only natural that they think I'm a mastermind spy, right? You? No! I believe in you. What? See? Isn't it obvious? Believe in their friend, right? That's why I want you to tell me. I want you to, to believe in me too. Because we're friends. I understand. It's true. Friends end. Maybe I can. Just a little bit. Then that's fine. Fine. I'll tell you. I'll tell you why I've been hearing where I've been going. See? Okay. When I heard from Kyoko, then, well, frankly, it kind of was fine. Nice. Right after I told Kyoko, wow. I believe in her. <laughs> she told me a story that was, well, almost unbelievable. I decided I had to confirm what she told me with my own own two eyes. So I waited for nighttime to come. When it did, I went into action. She blew my nose and then she blew my mind. Indeed. As the Rolling Stones would say. Mm-hmm. Boys bath, second floor. It doesn't have to be in the camera or monitor. George was there. Way in the back. <gasps> she said it was way in the back of the bath. Why was Kyoko in the boys bathroom? She was getting yeah. saucy. <laughs> saucy. Saucy. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> saucy. That's true. Just a storage Perfect. closet, as far as I can tell. It's a good idea to talk about. Book it. You need these within the book, yeah? <laughs> oh, Celeste. You know what? She said it was good taste in number E64. Oh, like the video game console. This stands for not going to survive. Oh my god. I'm taking the microphone away from you. And suddenly, as if I were being yanked in. Whoa. The funk. The shunk. Same time as I heard that sound, I fell through the wall. I had no idea what was going on. Ba boom. I fallen through the back of the storage closet. It turned out the back wall was a door. And I made my way to the other side. It's like Kyoko had said. Correct. Always back from the second floor. There's a storage closet. Way in the back of that closet. There's a secret room. Oh. Pod champ. So this is the secret room, but what's in here? Two things. It's cool. Nice. Yeah, it's just a normal desk, normal drawers, and a book. Mm. Here's a bunch of files, but looks like going back to my yearbooks. They're all covered in dust, peeking and everything. One file at the end of the caught my eye. Peek is Adam to the registry. The only thing here not in the dust. Someone's been looking at it. File into my hand before I had a chance to look at it. The paper fell out. File and I turned my hand into it. It's this. It's not leave. That's weird. I could understand if it said, like, I can't leave. But what's not leave? Who's this? My head feels funny. It's strange to Deja vu. These words sound like I've seen them somewhere before, but I can't remember. What do I do now? What don't I know? I. I. Oh, gosh, dang it. Bunk! Makoto's going to horny jail! <laughs> sound right now, bad. He tried oh, to ask Kyoko out. Indeed. Back and, forth. <laughs> and then. I don't understand what's happening. I don't know what started it. It's all over. That I opened my eyes. I don't know how long it had been. It, ow. Apparently something hit me and I lost consciousness. That's all I understood. The doll dropped the pain in my head that much at least. An empty bookshelf. Huh? Empty. Gone. It's all gone. The yearbook was too much to and even the note that had fallen on the floor. It's all gone? Me? But my brain refused to do any longer. Insistent pain in my head began to spread across the rest of my body. For now, I should go back to my room and rest. 
thought it was the ooze stain in my mind, but it's thought very much the fact that I don't know I made it back to first day of school. The farther I walked, the more I felt things were getting blurry. I can't see in front of me. I couldn't stop my school collapse right there, and after that, the from the vest is there and down. It was faint, but it was undeniable. That sound coming from the gym? <sighs> What's it gonna be? Basketball, that's your prediction? Yes. Who's playing? <laughs> uh, Hero. The Jets. By uh, himself? The Packers. Sakura and Hina. Sakura and Hina. Okay. I didn't make a sound again from the gym. It sounds like a Kasha, Baki, Agiagia, Gia, Pachi, Baki, Dadadu, Tisha. Oh. Oh. For me, there is a battle beyond making humans impossible. No, besides not human, that's for sure. Regardless, I couldn't stop staring. I forgot to do it. Why, you? What do you think you're doing? I ask you a question. What's the meaning of this? How dare you defy me? This wasn't part of the deal. <gasps> she was the spy? <gasps> the deal? I've made a decision. The art of the deal? I will no longer Indeed. retreat. <laughs> no longer compromise. No longer regret. I've made my decision. We don't have characters I'm going to resist. Indeed, I'm down to one character. <laughs> Why don't you give Monica a try? Because I already have a voice. <laughs> yeah, that has not stopped you from changing anyone else's voices. <laughs> They've been more subtle changes, except for Hina. Had yeah. Some, had some radical changes. <laughs> Everyone Hina... else has been subtle. Saka. Okay, Sakura also changed. You know yeah. what? You know what? Mind of Kuma's perfect. <laughs> so. Oh my lord, Tom. <laughs> what? You're just being a baby about it. I can't do a very good Trump impression. I was walking and talking. <laughs> okay. I saw Hillary Clinton. I saw Hillary okay. Clinton. She took a dump at the Taco Bell. <laughs> she took a dump. It was a huge dump, okay, people? Huge, huge, huge dump. At the Taco Bell. That's my Trump. It's not good. What am I looking at? What am I hearing? Austin? I definitely thought um, that Sakura is going to be the next to die, and it's going to be because of me, because of Byakia. Because I don't think anybody, nobody can kill Sakura on strength alone. Byakia could probably outsmart her and find a way to do it. So that was my prediction. And again, I think we're just going to start Super blaming Robo Justin. Save the game and we can quit. Three's a crowd. So who's going to die next? <laughs> yeah, who, who's predictions? So Sakura's going to die? Yeah, I killed Sakura. No, 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 stop. No, <laughs> no more. Jungle. No. Grope you later. Bye. <laughs> what? Leah got executed. We are not playing more. <laughs> I'm just going through the list of people who died. Uh, who cares? Me. We're going to do this next session. All right. Later. No. Bye. Prediction first. Oh, prediction. Who's going to kill who? Oh, man. I think Monokuma's going to kill Sakura. Okay. Okay, or Sakura is gonna end up killing. Um... Uh... Uh, maybe Hiro. Why? Who's left? Because Hiro, Toko, Hiro, Hina, Toko, Hina. Sakura, Sakura Byakia, Kyoko, and Makoto. Maybe the seven. Yep. Jeez. Okay. So yeah, Hiro, because I don't think. Biaki is done yet. I think I think the next person to murder anybody will be Biaki yet, but I think that my idea might change when we see what motivation Monica tries to bring this next time. Like, with the money, like, I, I was like, oh, maybe Hero, maybe Celeste, because of, you know, gambling and possible death, but she, like, never loses, right? Um... Because it was money, I definitely was thinking that it might be um, cute. Um, 
Celeste, but I admit that because I didn't want it to be Celeste. Um, mm-hmm. But this time I really think if the reward is more of a reward and less of a negative thing's gonna happen to your family if you don't listen, um, then I think it'll be Byakia. If it's a negative to your family, I think it'll be Hina who's the next murderer. Um, or more likely, it'll be like Hero's the next murderer because Hina tried to kill him and he defended himself. Kind of like Leon and Sayaka. But something like that. Why are you doing this? Because it's funny. Why is it funny? <laughs> <laughs> How is this funny? Because it is. I disagree. Well, I'll be later. I'll be later. I'll be later.